The US Navy released a photo that's got a lot of attention on social media platforms because of the underlying message that it served. In the photo, the commanding officer and executive officer of the USS Mustin destroyer can be seen watching on as China's Liaoning aircraft carrier sails nearby. The captain has his feet up in a nonchalant pose as the pair laid their eyes on China's prized asset. The photo is said to be taken on April 4th. The warships were just around a few thousand meters away from each other. The message was clear, Liaoning is not a major threat for US Navy, and USS Mustin can handle it without much fuss. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why USS Mustin, Arleigh Burke class destroyer, could cripple the Chinese Liaoning aircraft carrier in battle. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Liaoning is no match to an American Nimitz-class supercarrier. What about an Arleigh Burke class destroyer? An aircraft carrier is expected to have its own escorts, which will include destroyers, cruisers, frigates. A direct one to one confrontation between an aircraft carrier and a destroyer is unlikely. But in a certain situation, a confrontation can happen, and the April 4th event was one such scenario. Liaoning is much larger, displacing around 67,500 tons well, USS Mustin displaces only 9,200 tons. But size isn't everything. There are three reasons because of which USS Mustin will potentially have an upper hand. Let's check them one by one. While Tomahawk has been around for a long time now, the latest Block 5 variant of the missile is a major upgrade. The Block 5A variant is called Maritime Strike. It has a new seeker capable of hitting a moving target, so it could be used to target a rival's surface combatants. The target information in the variant could be updated in flight. The warhead will be geared towards destroying enemy warships. Block 5 has crucial upgrades to the missile's communication and navigation systems. This will make it hard for the enemy to jam the missile with electronic countermeasures. This will mean that more missiles will be able to navigate unhindered to the target and hit them. Raytheon's Tomahawk program manager told reporters at an event at the missile plant in Tucson, Arizona that the navigation system upgrades will ensure the missile can strike targets even if GPS is taken down. This is a game changer since the missile, which has a range of around 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers will be able to take down enemy surface vessels from a standoff distance. Deliveries have started since March, and it's likely that USS Mustin is armed with it since it's deployed in a hotspot. A barrage of maritime strike could see Liaoning going down in a jiffy. The main power of an aircraft carrier is its air wing. Liaoning can accommodate around 26 Shenyang J-15, which is its main strike force. The Shenyang J-15, also known as Flying Shark, is a fourth-generation, twin-jet, all-weather, carrier-based fighter aircraft developed by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation and the 601 Institute for the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy's aircraft carriers. J-15, which is basically an unethical copy of the Russian Su-33, uses indigenous Shenyang Liming WS-10H engines, which are underpowered. 
it's thought to have a low maximum launch weight. With this weight limitation, a J-15 carrier fighter cannot carry a full load of fuel and weapons, so it neither has a good range or an effective weapons package. China's own media has come down heavily on it. Beijing-based China Military Network SMN, criticized the capabilities of the J-15 as nothing more than a flopping fish, incapable of flying from the Liaoning with heavy weapons, effectively crippling its attack range and firepower. USS Mustin is armed with Enhanced Sea Sparrow Missiles ESSM, which has a range of 31 miles or 50 kilometers and a speed of Mach 4. The warship has 96-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system. A significant number of these are reserved for ESSM. Since ESSM can be quad-packed, the USS Mustin carries an excellent payload of this missile. This will be able to swat the underpowered Shenyang J-15 easily and take out Liaoning's main force. The RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile ERAM, or Standard Missile 6 SM6, have been deployed by the U.S. Navy to counter different kinds of threats. It was designed for extended range anti-air warfare ERAAW, purposes, providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, anti-ship cruise missiles in flight, both over sea and land and terminal ballistic missile defense. It can also be used as a high-speed anti-ship missile. The missile uses the airframe of the earlier SM-2ER Block 4 RIM-156A missile and some targeting elements from AIM-120C AMRAM. It can discriminate targets using its dual-mode seeker, with the semi-active seeker relying on a ship-based illuminator to highlight the target and the active seeker, having the missile itself sending out an electromagnetic signal. SM-6 has a max speed of Mach 3.5 and has a 140-pound blast fragmentation warhead. It has a range of 250 miles or around 400 kilometers. The SM-6 also sunk the decommissioned USS Reuben James in an 18th of January 2006 demonstration displaying its anti-ship capabilities. SM-6 is much harder to intercept than typical anti-ship missiles as it has supersonic speed as well as the ability to take on high-G maneuvers. Also, the missile will be deadly to Liaoning's air wing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.